Any but, thoughts on uh, these guys? Well, I don't. I don't know what they're. Obviously, they know they mucked up with uh, uh, Green Lantern, you know, the movie. So I don't know what, but they're they're being so so precious with the Green Lantern property. I don't understand why they're just. It's not a big deal. Just let him, let him, just let him have that for, just for that one scene. It could have been any lantern. It didn't have to be. Obviously, it was never going to be Hal Jordan, probably. Um, but it could have been just literally anyone else. You know, I mean, and I guess they're being equally as tight with John Stewart as well. So, I don't know. I don't see what the problem is. I, mean, I don't know. Uh, they um, they haven't. Like I know they announced that it's a show, right? Is it a HBO Max show? Yeah, I Green guess, Lantern Corps. Like, are they actually? Doing it or is it still kind of? Well, last I read, it's supposed to begin production this month. Oh, okay. And that was according to TV and movie film industry, some some website. Um, mm. I didn't read too much into it because it's like we haven't heard any casting news yet. Right, right. No directors. We have writers, Greg Berlanti from the Arrowverse who did Arrow, mm-hmm. Flash and all the CW shows. Yeah. So that's promising, but still they yeah, seem to be so Warner Brothers seems to be like have no confidence in Zack Snyder despite the Snyder cut being better than people thought despite you know, his Army of the Dead movie coming out and that having a lot of hype. It's just like, I don't know. The the way they're treating him, it's it's like, it's it's so disrespectful. They make it seem like he was the fall guy. And he, no, no, he was the fall guy. They make it seem like he was solely the reason why this universe did not work. Yeah. And, you know, we've had these conversations before. Warner Brothers, they shot themselves in the foot. The, I yeah. mean, Chris Terrio in that article that we talked about, he said, you take 30 minutes out of my script. Do you know what that's going to do for the movie? And look how Batman v Superman, the theatrical version, uh, turned out. It was yeah. destroyed by yeah, critics, yeah. by fans, general audience members. You know, I, and then, yes, Batman v Superman, the ultimate edition um, for several people – it doesn't make it like a, a great movie, but adding those 30 minutes into that movie, it helped. did so it much did. for the plot. It did. Yeah. And it, 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 it just flowed away with, with stream streamlined a whole lot better flowed mm-hmm. a lot better. You know, the editing was less crazy and just anyway, but yeah, definitely. So yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what they're worried about what he'll do to their precious green lantern property. I mean, just, he just wants to use this one character for this one scene. That's it. If they had no plans to continue on with this universe, then what's the big deal? Let them do it. Like, I don't Especially know. if it's something that they consider not canon. Because yeah, one of those that said, oh, oh that, that crappy 2017 uh, Justice League movie, that's the movie that's going to be in our canon that we yeah. will acknowledge. This Zack Snyder's Justice League, <laughs> that's miles better. No, nah, that's like an Elseworld thing. That's going to go nowhere. Well, yeah. if it's going to go nowhere, what's then, the problem with g- having Zach go out with a bang and use his Green Lantern? I yeah. mean, look at the concept art right cool. there. That's yeah, right. amazing. That looks miles better than the 2011 CGI crap fest that was Green Lantern's uh, Ryan Reynolds suit. You know, this this looks amazing, man. Yeah, it looks very cool. I like the, I like the John Stewart suit with the and the fact that he used there. an unknown actor, somebody with little to no credentials. Sure. His, no, again, big... his name is Wayne T. Carr. Yeah. What that, that could have, what that could have done to his career and you know his Hollywood career, and again expanding opportunity, you know, to others. Like what blockbuster director picks an actor with zero credentials, you know, it's like yeah. unheard of. You need that bankable star to give the studio confidence, to give you money to, you know, and by money, I mean like hundreds of millions of dollars to produce these blockbuster epics. It's just mm-hmm. Hollywood's a real like, and this is coming from a consumer. I'm not going to pretend like I've been 
in the industry. But from what I read from all the trades, you know, Variety, Hollywood Reporter, mm. these filmmakers, their interviews, it's just like, man, like, wow, what a what a battle, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And that's why they say the fact that a movie makes it onto the theater big screen is an accomplishment in itself because of the amount of hours and effort and blood, sweat and tears and money poured into this two hour thing. That's meant to just, well, depending on who you are, it's just something to entertain you or it's something for you to dissect for the next couple years of your life with friends online on YouTube. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's a lot. But, yeah. um, hey, hopefully, um, if this is it for for Zack Snyder, hey, he has Army of the Dead coming out. 